Hi, I'm Joyce. Hi, I'm Joe. Today we're here to explore what is ableism. That's right. Ableism is a set of beliefs or practices that view disabled people as less able or impaired. Ableism is also a form of discrimination that favors able-bodied people. We're going to do an activity. So what are some examples of ableism in our society? Look at the following slides and decide which ones are examples of ableism. First, we start off with buildings have stairs, but no ramps or elevators. In the early 1900s, disabled people were associated with being criminals or having diseases, and also images that portray people with disabilities as an inspiration. We have a wheelchair user is moved without their permission. According to Statistics Canada in 2012, 30% of disabled people discontinued their studies. About 40% reported that people avoided or excluded them. A 27% experienced bullying. Students without disabilities are encouraged to have helper helpy relationships with their disabled peers. Examples such as these phrases, don't be lame, you're an idiot. In the late 1920s to early 1970s, disabled people in Alberta and BC were forced to have involuntary surgical sterilizations. And getting cochlear implants is the best way to fix a problem for people who are hearing impaired. So, which examples out of these do you think are examples of ableism? And the answer is, these are all examples of ableism. Right, and ableism contributes to isolation and exclusion of disabled people. It's based on society's belief that typical abilities are more desired and valued. It also leads to the idea that disabled people need to be cured, fixed, and even should be prevented from being born. Here, we see a chart displaying the differences between the medical model of disability versus the social model of disability. In a medical model, the person is disabled by the deficits of their body or brain. Disabled people are seen as broken and needing to be fixed and cured. Caregivers and professionals make decisions for them, and they're an object of charity and receiver of help. The disabled person needs to adjust to fit into society since they are the one who is not normal. In contrast, the social model of disability views the person as being disabled by their environment. Disabled people are considered normal and valid human beings with equal rights to society. They have a right to autonomy, choice, and consent in their lives. Disabled people are equal as human beings and have a right to inclusion. Next, we have a TED Talk video by the late Stella Young sharing with us her experiences and knowledge about ableism. Pause the video here and scan the QR code to watch the TED Talk video. I'm not your inspiration. Thank you very much. Our question to you is, how does knowing about ableism change you, change me, as a person? Here are the references for our video. Thank, Thank you, you for watching. watching.